fraud or an affirmative intentional misrepresentation. Really? Yeah. You would? And that's, and that's a pretty high threshold usually, and you've got to have some evidence for that. So, you know, this is not, can you sue? Yes, this is America. Right. You can always sue for everything. But is it covered by your homeowners as and well? And that's another you know? question. It's probably a better idea to go through your homeowners if it's covered by your homeowners. It's because be cheaper and faster than a lawsuit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Breaking news right now on KCAL 9 News at 4. That breaking news happening in Seal Beach where there's a massive traffic backup on the 405 freeway at the height of the afternoon commute where a car has been crushed under a big container. KCAL 9's Desmond Shaw is live overhead in Sky 9 with more on the situation there. Des. Crushed vehicle and. the freeway about the investigation this was a really serious crash that happened back in the noon hour southbound 405 past the 605 but you see only a couple of lanes are open uh, right now it's unclear how many people were injured that vehicle was crushed pretty bad but fortunately no one died in this crash but boy this southbound 405 is just a disaster and there you see 7th Street coming out of Long Beach as well absolutely horrific it has had a chain reaction effect on the southbound 605 as well of course this has to be happening on a busy Friday afternoon a getaway drive so lanes should hopefully be reopening shortly here all lanes but it's going to take hours for the southbound 405 to get back up to speed live in sky nine overhead i'm desmond shaw Juan, back to you in the yeah, studio what a mess out there desmond thank you well we have more traffic troubles to tell you about this afternoon there's a big backup on the five freeway in burbank four lanes on the northbound side are closed at buena vista because containers fell off a big rig into lanes the chp says one of those containers was filled with lithium batteries and it caught fire Burbank's fires hazmat team had to hose them down, but we're told nothing spilled out. Luckily, lanes are expected to be closed until at least five this afternoon. Now to this, two people tried to rob a man in the middle of West Hollywood this morning. Then they hit him with their car. This all happened just after nine on Sunset Boulevard near North Weatherly Drive, not far from the Roxy. Security video from the scene shows one of the suspects with a gun approaching the victim in a back parking lot. The victim tries to get away, but the suspect chases him. The second suspect in a dark colored four door sedan later hits the victim with the car. The driver then gets out of the car, approaches the victim and the two struggle. After a few moments, the suspect robs the victim, runs back into the car and takes off. That victim was rushed to the hospital. We do not know his condition right now. Officers are now trying to track down those two suspects. Now to the final days of the L.A. mayor's race. It will be filled with campaign events all across the city. Rick Caruso and Karen Bass are making their cases to voters. KCAL 9's Jeff Nguyen is live in downtown L.A. And Jeff, needless to say, this race is really tightening up. Yeah, and as we head into this final weekend before Election Day, the candidates for mayors have very tight schedules. They both know that voter turnout is key because this race is simply too close to call. Now that we're tied, every vote counts. The poll that really matters is the poll on Tuesday. There is cautious optimism on both sides following the latest poll from UC Berkeley's Institute of Governmental Studies and the LA Times. In the race for LA mayor, it's a toss up between Congresswoman Karen Bass and billionaire developer Rick Caruso. There's a ton of momentum behind uh, the campaign and uh, we are tied. Uh, and that's what we're seeing in ours, and every vote counts. Considering that Mr. Caruso has spent almost $100 million in his campaign, I am happy with where we are. Caruso has managed to close a 15-point gap in the last month, partly by appealing to Latino voters. The Latino vote is 50% of the city, and uh, it's an important part of our city. It's an important part of our city's future. It's an important part of our city's past. And they also don't feel heard. They feel underrepresented. 32 years ago, I started an organization in South Central Los Angeles that was built as a African-American and Latino organization. One of Bass's main talking points has been the protection of abortion rights. The message of today is, and the message of yesterday and the day before, is that I am the only Democrat running in this race. 
pro-choice Democrat. Caruso says his family has supported Proposition 1, next Tuesday's ballot measure to create protection for reproductive freedom in California's Constitution. Well, we've contributed, I think, to date about a million three supporting the effort to get Prop 1 passed. 